Hey there guys, today we're taking a look at Spider-Man Miles Morales running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5500U. You're looking at the game right now running with the lowest in-game graphics settings and we did have to set FSR to the ultra performance preset. Now I don't really like using FSR below balanced. Ghosting and shimmering becomes very, very apparent at anything below that. And ultra performance is intensely, intensely low resolution being upscaled. So it can look pretty brutal Brutal, but if you really want to actually play the game on a system like this, it's pretty much necessary as you can see. But first, we're going to take a look at how the different memory configurations actually end up performing. But before we actually take a look at that, here we're taking a look at how the game performs with 8 gigabytes of RAM. It just does not launch. It crashes on the boot up. It just is not enough RAM for the game to even start at all. So if you're on an 8 gigabyte system, you are pretty much locked out of being able to even launch this. Luckily, we are able to launch the game with 12 gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of RAM. And here you can see how each one is performing. It really just depends on what is going on in the screen. After roaming around the world for several minutes on both of them, they pretty much ended up giving me the exact same average and 1% lows at the stock 15 watt TDP. And again, it really just depends on what is happening on the map. If you enter another location, things just need to load in and and you just get this frequent stutter that kind of just brought the 1% lows all the way down to single digits. So already off to a very brutal start with both, both of these configurations. But let's see if raising the TDP can actually uplift this performance. Luckily going up to 25 watts actually makes a noticeable difference overall in the performance of the game itself. Again, roaming around the world, swinging around the whole place on both systems for several minutes ended up giving me very similar results though there was a slight difference in the one percent lows so while it is an improvement it's nothing earth shattering and in general it doesn't really do too much to improve the overall playability of the game itself it's still going to be a rough go as things are right now but we can see what happens when we pump a full 30 watts of power into this system it is not a configuration that i recommend just because it's a lot of power to pump through this system but a lot of the times it does not even end up using most of that extra wattage at most it'll go up to like 28 watts and it usually just comes down to the fact that since the gpu is almost always going to be fully loaded unless the game itself can actually utilize multiple cpu cores you're really not going to get any benefit from that extra wattage because the gpu is already running at max speed but with both configurations this did actually provide the best experience though it wasn't anything earth shattering overall we still have around the same fps average that we were at before but we did see some slight improvements in one percent lows so in general it is going to be a rough go no matter what it is just an extremely demanding game it seems like the 5500u is really starting to show its age in titles like this certainly fsr does a lot to bring this to a range that is at least somewhat playable though not ideal but i think for a lot of people if you just started playing like this you might actually find it more than acceptable just one of those things where it's not going to be the greatest experience ever but if you're on a budget chip like this, well, at least you can actually get away with playing it. It's not going to look the greatest, but it's at least consistent enough. And I mean, if you play it now, you might just be able to play it again a few years down the line on a brand new system, and it'll be like getting a whole remaster for it. But anyways, if you're interested in picking up this game for cheaper, check out the link down below to Aniba, where you can pick it up for a very, very reasonable price. But I'll see you guys next time.